does come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune. Swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal and to deluding and evil. step unsettled the ancient earth but we were in a realm of death and madness in the end i alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity until consciousness failed me you remember our venerable house opulent and imperial it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Darkest Dungeon, and this is a game that I've been wanting to play for a hell of a long time. There is some new DLC that is uh, that is coming out, and recently there was a brand new mode that was added, and that is Radiant Mode. And Radiant Mode is kind of like a faster-paced, uh, regular old campaign. Um, and... It's uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of an intro into the world of Darkest Dungeon. I just want to point out that cinematic is just absolutely gorgeous. I was absolutely loving that. I just wanted it to go on forever. Quite frankly, that voice is just just bowls you over. You know, um, I don't know. Call it potato. Sure. Does that does that work? <laughs> is, is is that fine? Um, it's a save file, doesn't particularly matter. Oh, looks like we've got more. It looks like my wish for it to never end, or the cinematic to never end, is uh, going to be granted. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Redemption. Oh man, gorgeous! I just realized that I left my uh, my mouse pointer on the uh, on the screen. Oh, that's good. I have no idea what that is. No idea what that is at all. All right, let's do it. Let's flip in. Do it. All right. What is this? So the carriage has crashed and we are now beginning the tutorial for Darkest Dungeon. I do know how to play. I have played through the tutorial before, so I know uh, I know kind of what I'm doing. Uh, we need to move over here. Keep to the side path. Keep to the side path. Alright, awesome. While in a hallway, press D to move forward and A to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead 
Uh, I think I'm going to use uh, A and D. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. Awesome. Awesome. So now uh, we get to look at our skills. Uh, can we look at your skills yet? Apparently not. Uh, so what we can do is we can use open vein or we can use grape shot. And it's, uh, it's turn based. So we get to do a whole bunch of damage to him or we can do... Uh, what's, what, what do we think is better? I mean, that's ranged, or that's melee. And the interesting thing is, is that we can do it from first, second, third position in the queue, and we can do it to the first and second position in the opposing queue. So, lots of interesting stuff to be, uh, to be seen here. This guy is losing two damage per round because he's bleeding out, and because he's a scrub. Uh, we take a little bit of damage, but that's no biggie. We've got the Crusader, who is here, and we can do a stunning blow. Um, I mean, anything, really, I think, should be... Should be fine. Sure, we'll do that. Easy peasy. And now we get to uh, to do some loot, which is... Or we get to take some loot, so that is pretty darn nice. We've got two food... And we've got 25 gold. Very, very nice indeed. Alright, what is this? Uh, interactive object, curios. While exploring, you'll often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Uh, take a look at this tent. Someone left valuables inside the tent. Oh! There is much to be found in forgotten places. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Awesome. Uh, how do I get through here? Can I... There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. <laughs> oh. Send these vermin a message. The right this dude, 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 dude. You need to like uh you need to take some like some pill or something, cause holy shit, you are a very angry person, I think. The narrator anyway. Uh open vein, I think we want to Um well apparently we can only target the chunky one in the front, so let's do that. I'm presuming that that's because this guy is so unbelievably big that we can't actually get past. Oh, he's got a weapon. Um, so we actually resisted that damage there. That's super, super nice. If that ever happens, then, uh, then, then we're in a winner. Um, actually base, 90%. Damage is 4 to 8 on that. That's 6 to 12. I think we probably go with just smite. I think we just want to deal as much possible damage as possible. Yeah, and Smite seems to be uh, the best thing. Plus 15% damage versus Unholy. Now, you are not Unholy. You just look like a, a regular old douchebag. A little bit of a shame there, but 9 damage. I'll take that. That's pretty good. I'll take that any day of the week, actually. What are you going to do? Oh, a dodge. Nice. So we don't even take any damage. Uh, you are minus 20% bleed resist and minus 2 speed. And I think speed... Uh, speed... Speed will... Uh, I think, does speed impact your dodge? I don't actually know what speed does. That would be interesting to, uh, to check out. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pick it up as, as we go. Um, yep, tracking shot. Tracking shot will do decent damage. Oh, no, 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 I do not want to be doing that. Tracking shot will do decent damage, but it'll give myself plus 12% damage, plus 6 accuracy, and plus 5% crit. I think I'll actually do that. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. Sure, there we go. But it'll give me a little buff, which is plus 12% uh, plus twelve percent damage. So that's why I did it. That's exactly why I did it. 100% um, base. If we were to stun, it wouldn't do any damage, but it would give us the opportunity to sort of reset the fight and just go for it from there. I don't think I want to do that. I think, that, you know, Mr. Crusader, you just want to keep on dealing the big, the big blows here. And certainly, you are going to be going down very, very soon indeed. Um, that is a pathetic attack if ever I saw one. Although, it did inflict one damage per round for three rounds, which is a little bit of an annoyance if you ask me, but hey-ho, I, uh, I shall suffer. Um, you got three HP, so tracking shot does two to three damage. And you're going to bleed out, so you're 100% going to be dead next turn anyway, so we'll do that, that's fine. You should die, right? Oh, yeah, oh, in fact, that's interesting. What is the turn order? The turn order 
is worth noting because you should die after the turn is over. Uh, I can't actually target you. That's a little bit of a shame. Let's just do a buff self then, I guess. Sure. Do a get your healing scroll out, and that's fine. And you die. Awesome. And now you are front of the queue. Perfect. And we can we can attack everyone. And you dodge! Oh, perfect. Thank you, Mr. Highwayman. That's that's utterly fantastic. Open veins you. That'll probably almost kill you. Yep. Um, and you pretty much just what what? Did I meant did I mean to do that? I don't know if I meant to do that, but I did it. And there we go. You're dead. Enjoy. Enjoy death. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, return to town anytime. Just click the crew. You don't need to return to the starting room uh, of the dungeon to exit. Perfect. Return to the hamlet. I shall return to the hamlet. Quest rewards, 5,000. Awesome, 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 awesome. I will take that. That is pretty damn good. And we get a little bit of money as well. Not to mention the fact that everyone is going to get a little bit more uh, XP. And you are now a wield adventurer. Minus 20% stress in wield. Awesome. And you're a cove adventurer. Minus 20% stress in cove. Well, that's not particularly interesting, but it is a start, I suppose. Welcome home, such as it is. Such as it is. Hamlet, these corrupted lambs, they are yours now. Jesus Christ. To them. What the hell is this? Complete the final darkest dungeon quest. Okay, so this is all the quests that we have in entirety. Which is nice. That's good. Um, Apprentice Highwayman, Apprentice Crusader. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. Complete your first foray into the ruins. Well... That's all very well. I feel that I probably do need, on any screen, press and hold H to see the contextual help for controls in that mode. Awesome. Stagecoach, new heroes, blacksmith, upgrade heroes, guild, upgrade heroes, combat skills, survivalist, upgrade heroes, camping skills, tavern, send heroes for stress relief, abbey, send heroes for stress relief, sanitarium, treat heroes, quirks and diseases, nomad's wagon, purchase rare items. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. We can view fallen heroes. We don't. Covered in the poisoned earth. We don't have Merciful oblivion. any heroes. Complete more quests to unlock. Complete more quests to unlock. Complete more quests to unlock. Recruit new heroes. All right, let's recruit some new heroes. I feel that we can't. Soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. Great. Okay. Wow. We have two people. Does this cost us any money at all? I don't think it does. Whilst you're here, spend some of your time uh, starting heirlooms on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available in the future. Click the plus symbol on the left and then click the upgrade. Awesome. Um, sure. That's great. So that cost heirlooms and deeds, right? Am I, am I correct? No, crests. Crests and deeds is what it requires. That's fine. Awesome. And these are all the upgrades that uh, that we can that we can actually affect. View ancestors' memoirs. God damn, son! I'm excited. I am excited to see what the hell is going to happen here. This is very very interesting. All right, there isn't much more you can do in town right now. Click embark on the screen. I shall do just that. And we'll get right into it. Alright, click to see details. So, we can only visit the ruins, or... This is the dark... This is the literally the darkest dungeon. Okay. I'm presuming this is like the... The end... The end game scenario, which is... Kind of interesting, but I'm nowhere, obviously, near that. I wouldn't last a minute. I fear this task is beyond me. No, trust me, trust me, dude. It's it's all Gucci, baby. We're not gonna we're not gonna fuck around with that. Uh, how do I embark on this then? How, how how do I do it? Do I just do I click it? Oh, I need to drag the party. That's fine. Um, I suppose it probably matters on the order. Let's think about this. 
Crusader probably should be at the front. I guess this is the person at the front. Sure. All right, let's provision our food and torches and all of that nonsense. Uh, torches is a mechanic as well that we need to bear in mind, like light. Uh, we'll take a couple torches with us. How much food we got? No food. We'll take a little bit of food. We can't afford to be spending that much money on anything, but, you know, we obviously want to be spending money on stuff. Uh, we want to be as best equipped as possible. I'm going to take more food. I'm going to take six food. I, d I don't know how much food uh, I'm supposed to be able to take. I don't know how much we need. I guess we'll see, right? You haven't purchased much food. It's recommended that you take a, at least eight food. Okay, well, exactly. That's exactly why I have no idea. I'll take ten. I'll take seven torches, one skeleton key, two skeleton keys. Who knows? I don't know how much money we're going to need uh, to upgrade anything around the base. I also... Uh, base, hamlet, town, whatever. I also have no idea um, how much uh, money we're going to collect in this run. Click on Heroes Portrait at any time to bring up a detailed panel showing all their heroes' quirks and interesting things. Awesome. Let's, let's move here then, shall we? All right. We're in. This is the house, it looks like. Why are we... Yeah, alright. Let's 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 do that. You seem like a guy that would be over there. You have... You have abilities that can be used from the back of the crowd. I mean, Mace Bash is kind of shit on you, but that's okay. So, all of your abilities, you have to be at the back of the crowd. So, I think you actually probably are good at the back of the crowd. And you are... Also a back of crowd dude. So these two chaps are the frontliners. And then these two guys are the not frontliners. Awesome. Oh no, don't get don't get don't get worried. Don't get worried. It's okay. We got this. We got this. Ah, our first enemies. Our first enemies. I do like I do like a little bit of a challenge. All right, pistol shot. How much damage can this uh, this output? How much are we looking at? So four to eight, and I think that pistol shot does. Uh, it affects. Oh, it'll only be able to affect that guy. That's a little bit of annoying uh, annoyance. Uh, this is three to five, so let's not do that. I mean, we can just straight up not kill a guy, but get close. Tracking shot. Does five to nine? Why would I not tracking shot then? I can't tracking shot apparently. Ah, it only affects the last three. That's annoying. So there's no there's no ability that I can just straight up win with. That kind of sucks. I can at least I think I just straight up just kill this guy actually. Well, I say kill him. If I roll really badly, then I don't kill him. If I was to roll moderately well, then I would be fine, but hey-ho. Uh, buff target for damage. Let's buff you for damage so you're a little bit buffer, and you can do a little bit more damage. Um, I imagine you're probably going to be able to output enough damage to at least kill one person. You've got a lot of heals on you. You're a Vestal. I can't, I can't say that's something that I've ever come across before, but hey-ho. Uh, let's just straight up kill you. Give them no quarter. Corpses. When monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack the corpse to destroy it faster, but often better to approach using a ranged skill, push buffs, push, push pool skills, and even corpse clearing. All right, fantastic, great. That is, that is great news. Um, this is a ranged attack, and it will just actually kill you. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Awesome, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, did we use our skeleton key there? I don't know if we actually use our skeleton key. I can't... I I couldn't tell you. But anyway, let us progress onwards. Select a destination on the map. Well, there's not really any uh, anywhere we can go. There's a curio there. Did we... What was that curio? Or whatever it was, we opened it, so I, I guess it doesn't matter. Even the cold... Uh, we do actually have one spade. But... Oh, shit. Okay, we need to boost up our torch. We do actually have a spade, so that's kind of nice, but we've got to bear that in mind for next uh, for next adventure. 
All right, stress is also a concept that I have no idea what that does. Um, so that's gonna be really interesting to see what that does. Let's do a grape shot. There we go. It was also a great shot, so we've got that going for us, which is kind of nice. Uh, could do a party heal, but I'm not really interested in that. I think we're just going to go for something that deals a little bit of damage. I mean, you've got a lot of dodge, so I'm not going to hit you. Sure. Wow, okay. I'm pretty sure that was an 80% chance that we missed, but hey-ho. Shit happens, you know? All right. Take a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, that's fine. Uh, buff target, 25% damage. Alternatively, we could do a ranged attack that affects the last two units. Wouldn't really be worth it. I think we just straight up go for the buff on this guy. 25% extra damage is always nice. Uh, ranged affects the first two. It'll do four to eight damage. If we roll well on both of them, we kill them. Perfect. Easy peasy. That's awesome. Um, and now you have 9 HP. Now, this is a little bit of a problem because it's a little bit more difficult to hit you. I say a little bit more difficult. We're still managing relatively well. There we go. A death by inches is still a death. That's right. We don't muck around when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, when it comes to butchering sayings. All right. Um, where are we on the map? Select a destination. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Move to this room to battle with a curio. Or move to this room to battle with treasure. And there's a curio en route to both ways. There's a trap en route there. I have no idea what uh, what tells us that we can do that. I don't really know. Um, oh, no. Don't get stressed, bro. Don't get stressed. It's okay. I'll, I'll relight your fire. The sack contents are yours. Holy water, purge evil, and restore purity can also be... Uh, applied to hero. Perfect. Getting a few more busts. I do love a bit of bust myself. Um, family bust, that is. No, wait. I should just stop talking. Um, no, yes. Some good old head. Uh, no, not... No. I, yeah, I should really just... Fighting skeletons. That's something that, uh, that we need to do. Uh, something that we need to do pretty fast. Let's buff your damage, actually, because we want to try and... Uh, do a little bit of, uh, I think, probably Grape Shot, actually. Grape Shot would be the best here. A little bit of Grape Shot, a little bit of Pepper in everyone. Uh, you will do 1 to 3 damage. It is a stun. It is kind of nice. Maybe we go for a Party Heal. I think we actually do go for a Party Heal. It affects the last three. I mean, it affects everyone, I think, right? Yeah, perfect. That's the whole point between behind a party heal. Oh, God. All right, so everyone freaks the fuck out when someone got crit, apparently. And you get crit again? Death's door. When a hero is reduced to zero HP, they're at death's door. Well, in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. I mean, that sounds like... A, that sounds like a godsend. Like, let's, let's, be, let's be honest for a second. That sounds... Real good. Uh, four to eight damage. That would be kind of nice. Alternatively, we could just straight up potentially kill someone, although that's no guarantee. So let's... Let's just fuck up those two dudes. We're close, but not close enough, unfortunately. Uh, grape shot. Let's do it. Their formation is broken. Their formation is broken. And a dodge. I do like a good dodge. I do like a good dodge. All right, let's get the uh, divine heal out, and let's get you healed up. Thank God, eh? We did it. You're still at death's door. How do you get out of death's door? How do you get out of death's door recovery? I guess it's just until the end of quest then. I mean, that sucks pretty fucking hard, not going to lie. Um...
What do we want to do here? I guess we go for that, which will do a lot of damage over time. So four damage per round for three rounds. That's kind of the, the idea behind it. Oh my god, we are taking such a fucking pounding. Which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? Um, this guy is not very useful because suddenly when this guy's dead, this guy is still alive and this guy won't be able to hit him. By this guy, I mean, of course, the Crusader. Which sucks, I guess, but 12 damage. Not much that we can really do about that. Grape shot or pistol shot, open vein will not be able to reach you. You crit for 11, so you're saving our bacon. We get a crest, holy fountain, uh, holy water. Maybe if we had an empty butter, uh, an empty bottle, we'd be able to do something with it. Oh. A task well performed, if I do say so myself. I, I, I do perform a, a few good tasks. Um, so we are here right now. We can obviously only really head up that away. So let's do it. Okay, I just need to click the light bulb. You know what I mean. Disarming traps. Scouted traps will be visible on the ground. As you approach them, select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better at it uh, than others. Awesome. Does that cure your stress? That seemed to make you less stressed out. If I came across a trap in the middle of the road, uh, even if I didn't try to disarm it, I would probably get slightly more stressed. But that's just me. All right, well, that was an uneventful um, little questy bit. We could go back to get a uh, battle with treasure, but I'm not really that interested. This pack, this pack contains loot. All right, awesome. I'll be keeping this for myself. You're a funny guy, you know that? Dim light. Uh, hunger. Let's... Let's just eat. Eat food, everyone. Let's also put the put the light up. Can we put the light up again? We totally can. I didn't even realize that that was what we could do. I think we probably always want to keep... Wow, holy shit. We're actually almost out of torches. How close are we to the end of the... The map? We're actually really close. Uh, so I'm pretty okay with using the rest of our torches up in order to maintain radiant light. Because we get the bonus. We get scouting, monster surprised, everyone's happy... Everything's good in the world of of Darkest Dungeon. We should keep moving. You don't say. You don't say. What? Oh no. Oh no. Blood in my eyes. Blood in my throat. Blood. Oh, God. When heroes can't take the stress anymore, they become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. Afflictions last until you send them to treatment in town, unless you can reduce their stress to zero during this quest. Eh, well, I don't... You know, I don't think that that's really a possibility. I'll level with you. I don't... That was weird. We're doing a little bit of a jig there. Yeah, I pretty much don't think it's possible to raise... Uh, to lower your stress to zero. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do, eh? What can you do? Um, I would love to take out those two guys at the back. That would be really, really good. Play grenades. Um, I mean, does... Is it, like, basically the same as... Oh, it's just the difference between blight and stun. Uh, I kind of like the play grenade because it does damage over time which is real nice uh, we could do a we could do a little bit of a buff but I'm not really interested in doing a little bit of a buff a double dodge a double whammy oh shit fam I was hoping that that wouldn't be the case but shit happens you know uh, let's do a little bit of grape shot good stuff uh, I think honestly we want to do a divine heal and we want to do a divine heal on this chap right there oh it's a crit heal I don't know if heals work like that Maybe they shouldn't. I don't like this. Yeah, you just, just kind of get, like, gunged on by a skeleton dude, but whatever. Um, 5 to 10 damage. I'll take that. Wrecked. 
I dodge as well. I do like I do like a good dodge here and there. I do like a good dodge. You're hopeless. Oh my god. There can be no hope in this hell. Even the destitute no, of no. spirit refuse the light. Why? What the fuck? What the fuck are you on about? Heal me. I'll do whatever the fuck I want, you piece of shit. Um. Sure. Let's give this a crack again, shall we? There we go. Now we get a double hit, which is uh, which is damage over time, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's just straight up do open veins. I really, really, really want to try and kill this guy on this uh, on this attempt. Unless we want to go for a 3 to 5. I mean, a 3 to 5 will guarantee that he dies. Uh, it won't guarantee that he dies, though. Or 4 to 8. Let's go. Let's do that there. Uh, you dodge it anyway, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's get you healed up again. I don't think you're going to be doing anything for the next couple of turns except healing repetitively. Um, how was it? Yeah, so I right-click on you. What are the chances of you critting? It's 2.5%. 2.5%. All right. That's uh That's quite low. Um what are the chances that you survive this? 3 to 6, pretty high. What are the chances that you survive a smite? Pretty low. 7, I'll take it. It's a pretty good pretty good number right there. Uh pistol shot will affect the last 3 could try to kill him again. There we go. Perfect. Not too shabby. My research fails us. Oh my god. Why is everyone going ape shit? Please, just just chill. Just chill. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can't even cure myself. It's a shame. I'm gonna buff you. Uh, because the pistol shot is gonna be what deals the real damage back there. Oh. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's get a heal on you. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Beak. That's not really something that I'm interested in. Uh, buff self. Yep, I mean, that's the only thing that we can really do. Attracts enemies and takes more damage from some attacks. That's pretty fucking good, actually, for us. All things considered. Um, yep, let's just straight up go right over there. And if you deal 10 damage... Then we will not have to worry about this uh, again. But a victory nonetheless. If I continue questing and then open this, a deed, and now we can click go home. I don't know if that. I don't know if we if we just straight away uh, head home. Then we get all that. I don't really know. Either way, loads and loads of stuff. Collected heirlooms. This is... This is good numbers, I think. I mean, that looks positive to me. Alright, give me the... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Alright, give me the down low on everyone. What is it? Wield adventure. Obsessed with sainthood. Alright. The yips. Minus 5 accuracy. And plus 10% blight resist. Plus 10% max HP. That's actually pretty good on you, I suppose, because you always get targeted because you're, uh, you know, kind of useless uh, in terms of HP, I guess. Uh, fearful and uh, hopeless afflictions. Not exactly the best, but not exactly the worst either. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Some severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in the sanitarium. That's fine. Uh, defeat the apprentice necromancer. Defeat. Oh my god! Holy shit! There's a lot of, lot of, lot of things to deal with. But anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to be dealing with them in the next episode because that's it for this one. My name, of course, has been Albert Potato. This has been Darkest Dungeon Radiant Mode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.